I'm John Harper from the Classic Car Club Manhattan, and this is the 2001 BMW M5. It's one of my favorite cars of all time. And to be fair, I am partial to BMWs. I do love BMWs very much, and I've spoken at great length in the past about the E30 M3, which I do love as well. Really, really good car. But this car is sort of the other side of the spectrum. Um, the E30 M3 is lightweight and it's, uh, it's got four cylinders. It's all about being really agile and, and uh, cruising around. Um, but this car is much heavier. It's got a big V8 and uh, is a good bit more powerful too. It's got about 400 horsepower. When this car first came out, this is one of my favorite facts, was, one of, was the fastest four-door in the world which is so cool. But I think this is the best M5 ever built for a couple reasons. And I'm not just saying that. I've driven, a, I've driven multiple E60 M5s, both SMG and six speed. And uh, those V10s are great. They've got a lot of horsepower, they're a lot of fun. They sound really cool, but they can't touch the usability and the, and the driving pleasure I get from this E39. And most of that has to do with the way the power is delivered. This E39 um, with the naturally aspirated V8 has about 400 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque, which I really like. And that torque is really accessible from lower RPMs, whereas the V10s in the, in the, M, the M6 and the M5 E60, um, you really had to rev real high to get all of that power which can be fun and and also in the M, in the in the E60 M5s you have uh, you have the suspension controls so that you can make the suspension a little bit stiffer or softer uh, that's one thing that I am left wanting for in uh, in this E39 M5 is a, a, the option for a slightly stiffer suspension but that's a minor minor gripe that is easily overshadowed by this fantastic V8. Even better than the E90 M3's V8, I would say. Another, another thing I really like about this E39 is that in its stock form, it's not too outrageous. You know, the, the V8 does sound good, but any car could do with an exhaust. But this E39, really doesn't need it and it kind of makes me feel like I'm stealth mode I'm kind of flying under the radar when I'm on the, when I'm on the highway in the past I've talked about how I really like pushing a car a lower horsepower car hard on a twisty road than I do just mashing the throttle and going really fast in a in a car with 500 horsepower um, this kind of represents a sort of perfect four seat medium between that because the way this power delivered is delivered this 400 horsepower it's very progressive um, you can you can use pretty much all the power you know mid corner if you get on it the suspension kind of settles in and, and it's very it's very compliant yet very precise I'm leading a classic car club autogasm right now on some of my very favorite twisty roads up north of New York City got the McLaren MP412C right behind me, 2012 Porsche 911 behind that, and then we've also got our, uh, our Jaguar F-Type V8S, our SLS, and a Maserati Quattroporte along. And this car is not struggling at all to lead these, you know, these supercars. The, these guys are having a lot of fun. Um, great handling, great horsepower. And all that comes together so nicely on great, great roads.